Today we're going to set up Flycast in LaunchBox so we can play some arcade games. What you want to do is head over to their GitHub, scroll all the way down to their binaries, and then head over to the builds page. We'll download the latest build for Windows. Save it to where you save your emulators. Mine's here. Just going to say Flycast. Save it there. Our download is complete. We'll get back to that later. Next is we need our BIOS and ROMs. For that, you can head over to Archive. It will be in the description below. For this video, we're just going to do Atomis Wave. And for that, it needs a BIOS and one game. So head over to Zip. And we don't need to download the whole thing. We just need the BIOS. So I'm just going to save it here. And one game we're interested in. So let's get Dolphin Blue. I'm just going to save them in the same location because that's what worked for me. After our downloads complete, we can head back to where we downloaded Flycast and extract. Double click. Go to settings. Under the general tab, we just want to change TV composite to VGA. Controls. We can turn on the Xbox One controller. You can use whatever gamepad you like. And since we're going to do arcade, we need to change this to arcade controls. Let's have a look at what Atomis Wave Arcade looks like. So we have six buttons, a joystick, and a start button. So we're going to keep it simple and do it just like that. For the directional pad, I prefer the D-pad over the thumbstick for this. So I'm just going to unmap the rest. I think this one maps nicely to my Xbox controller. I'm going to leave it at that. The RK doesn't really have a trigger, so unmap. Start is the start button. And we can disable the service. I don't use that. And also the menu. But what we need to configure is the coin. So for the coin, we choose the select button. And click done. We've configured all the basic buttons in Atomis Wave. The select button will simulate inserting the coin into the machine. Going back to Flycast, under Video tab, we choose per strip. This works well in Redream, so we're just going to use it here. You can go widescreen, but I prefer the native aspect ratio. We can choose Vulkan because this is the newest of all the API renderers. And for resolution, we can go up to times 3. You can go higher if your machine can handle it. And done. Click Close. And you see that Flycast has generated more files. We need to configure something in the MU file. You can open that with Notepad. And scroll down the bottom. We want Flycast to start in full screen. And also maximized, which is yes. So save that. And that's it for our emulator configuration. We're now in Launchbox. This is the free edition. Make sure you close all Flycast windows before opening this. We can now start importing our ROMs, tools, import ROMs. Next, we add files. Let's browse where our ROMs are. Here, you just want to select the ROM file, not the BIOS. 
click next let's copy that for later and here we can add the emulator click add flycast browse for the exe file and I just click this for every emulator that I set up I'm not sure if it does anything but we'll click it anyway and then associated platforms here we're going to paste that Samia Thomas wave and then set it as default emulator click OK next use the files in their current location I just leave this all checked so it will download all the cover art next I don't have any movies account so I'll just skip that uh, you can check whatever you like me I just like this one combining ROMs to a single game so for example if you have multi-disc it will just show up as one game but for arcade it doesn't really matter finish our game has successfully been imported and now you can see dolphin blue here before we can start playing we need to do one final thing to the flycast emulator we need to map this cape key to exit the emulator in LaunchBox. Since I already have the Redream emulator here, we can borrow that script. So we can go to Tools, Manage, Emulators, go to Redream, and what we want is the running script. Now this is the default script that LaunchBox generates, and we can just copy that cancel go to flycast and it will also work with flycast so we'll just this doesn't really matter but we just want to make it right okay and then close now we can start playing As you can see, we started in full screen. We don't have coins, so we'll insert coins using credit. And that's the select button we mapped earlier. We can insert as many coins as we want and then start the game. And now we're playing. Pressing the escape button escapes the emulator as well. Hope you find that useful. See you next time.